Hello everybody, it's the uh, 13th, 14th of March today and I'm going to do, well I'm going to do a repot, one of these little ash trees. These are all grown from seed and uh, they germinate very readily. I know there's been a lot of um, talk about ash dieback and um, you know the end of the species but I wonder sometimes when I see how quickly and easily and the amount of seed they put out um, this is quite incredible and you can create some interesting little bonsai um, in a few years well I say a few years I think these are seven eight years old maybe um, they've been sort of chopped and chopped and chopped um, and uh, some of them have given me some very strange looking nibaris this part is absolutely filthy um, where it's been sat out all winter um, it needs a darn good clean but I'll do that off camera so it's not to bore you um, I am going to be doing a little bit of trimming I'm not going to repot this one and this one but I do want to just take out some of these growing tips See if I can't get a little bit more twigginess. And some of these kind of long branches, short and back. I'm ignoring this T-shaped branch. Um, I might regret that in later years, but for now, I kind of like it. So. There you have it. This one, again, I'm just going to nip out the growing point. I hope for a little bit of back budding. Again, you can see where this one has been chopped in successive years. So, this one, however, uh, has filled its pot and then some and uh yeah the pot has had it and so the tree's gonna have to move and i'm gonna try it in this uh, slightly shallower uh, but slightly bigger cream colored pot and we will see how that goes yeah, because of the shape of this belly pot even with the end broken off, it still doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to use my uh, super specialised uh, broken pot removal tool. Which, as you can see, works an absolute treat. And this pot, uh, no, rather this tree, definitely in need of a root prune. In all seriousness, this is an interesting piece of rock that I picked up uh, walking across the farmer's field with Coop. Uh, and I think I might try to you know, make a nice rock for a root over rock, or maybe just part of a landscape at some point. Um, I don't think the farmer's going to miss it, do you? Next time he does his ploughing, Okay, so I'm not going to have to do a lot to fit this into the pot, as it were, apart from reduce the height of the root ball. So, yeah, I'm going to start by brushing away some of the soil on the surface. I suppose maybe a little more of this weird root base, and I know. I can hear some people switching off, um, clicking to a different video entirely because it's not a proper root base. But as I've said in other videos, I do like a radial root base. But this is what formed naturally from this tree. Uh, as I say, I grew it from a seed and um, 
there's something about it that says I'm here and I'm not moving and I'm, I've been here since the dawn of time yeah you can take your chainsaw I ain't scared I'm making that rubbish now but you know what I mean so I'm basically going to now just take a slice off all the way around and then a slice off the bottom this this gritty mix has got a lot of white chunks in it like that and every time I see one I think oh fine weevil but the very first repot I did of the first tree of this season had I found a couple of vine weevil in and uh, I have treated all my trees now with nematodes but I haven't found any vine weevils in any other tree I've repotted which is really nice it does mean that several years now of using the nematode treatment twice a year I must be getting on top of the um, on top of the problem that's the famous last word that says like I probably shouldn't have said that but uh, oh well take out a couple of these thick lumps okay I think that's going to go in that pot quite nicely again this tree's got a couple of tea branches but I don't mind I'm really quite happy with the shape and form of this tree it looks old and ancient and gnarled and uh, it pleases my eye as I've said before is my main aim okay so drainage screens in and I'm gonna have to put a quite a thin layer of soil on the bottom that should be yeah not too bad and uh, I think I'm going to use my small scoop bring the bucket in a bit closer so I don't chuck it everywhere and I've got a nice flat surface and a nice even gap it shouldn't be too difficult to work the soil down into with the placement of the tree and by giving the tree a little bit of pressure that way it just opens up the gap a little further allows me to push the tree over and work the soil in a bit better the tree the root ball's got a tiny little bit of give in it okay so before I go any further and fill it to the top, I'm going to add some control release fertilizer, which unfortunately I left out and it just got a little bit wet. Um, luckily it's almost the end of the bottle. Spread that out. little scattering over the surface there just to make it all look the same and uh, yeah happy with that and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of work here I'm gonna shorten that off and I'm gonna take off that piece that's growing directly into that
you go. Can in for scale. Quick 360 of that one. And then, as I said, I have uh, repotted these others off camera. Um, that's actually the back. There we go. That's uh, you do a quick 360 of that one. I'd like it to develop a little bit more head, but I do like now the movement and the chunky base. And then, lastly, that one in its cleaned up pot. It's got quite a nice little head and nice for all its faults. Um, I did clean this pot and then I've worked with it with my dirty hands and made it dirty again. Again, I just love this weird, wonderful little um, base to the tree. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really do appreciate you watching my videos. Do all the usual YouTube things, the liking, the subscribing, the commenting below. But most of all, please, 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 stay safe, everybody.